So in this video, we'll be going over the pneumatics components that you'll find on your average pneumatic system in your electrical board. So what is pneumatics? Pneumatics is a system that uses high pressure air to move mechanical objects like pistons. You can compare this to hydraulics in your cars, but with air instead of water. So the electrical component that provides power to all the pneumatics components is the PCM, also known as the pneumatics control module. It provides power to all the pneumatics components like the compressor, the pressure switch, and the solenoids, which connect to these respective ports. It receives data through these CAN ports right here and is connected and is powered by the PDP through these ports here. The compressor compresses the air into the pneumatic system. It's connected to the PDP by the compressor port and it takes air from the surroundings through the fins here and outputs the, and outputs the air as compressed air through this tube here. It's usually bolted down to the electrical board and sometimes you can have it off your robot but usually you'd have it on your robot. The pressure switch is a device that detects how much pressure is within the system at a certain point. It tells the PCM when to turn off the compressor and is wired to the pressure switch um, port on the PCM. It stops at approximately 115 psi and it's used to tell the compressor when to turn off so it doesn't keep flooding the system with compressed air. For that reason it's usually put right after the compressor. Pistons are components that use compress compressed air to pull or push objects. Um, some pistons have contain a spring inside them so they only require require air at one end but all, some pistons also have um, air ports at both ends and in that case you would have two tubes one connecting to this end and one connecting to this end they're controlled using the solenoids which we'll get to soon solenoids are components that are used to regulate airflow into the pistons Double stage solenoids are used when you have a piston with two ports. Single stage are used when you have a piston with one port. They connect to the PCM using the wires here to the numbered ports and they open and close airways to the pistons. The pressure gauge displays the pressure of the system. They're, only, they're usually two per robot. One is used with the regulator. The other is used after the regulator to show the pressure of the entire system. The regulator regulates the pressure within the system and it's used in conjecture with a pressure gauge. It's used in between the compressor and the rest of the pneumatics components and pretty much regulates the pressure between the compressor and the rest of the system. The air tank is used to store the compressed air and it's connected to the pressure regulator. Um, all the air um, created by the compressor is stored here to be used later in the robot when necessary. That's all for today. These are the pneumatics components that will be seen most regularly, regularly in your pneumatic system. If you have any questions, feel free to email team1403 Cougar Robotics. Thank you.